talk, and that's what you'll go to. All right. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Necessary Central Shift. Sorry, two, no fun, bitch. <laughs> one. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to Necessary Shift. Son of two, <laughs> one. Why did I fall for that again? I should have went. Time. Action. Oh, that's funny. <sighs> All right, welcome back to Necessary Censorship. I'm Jason with Jeremy and Mike. I'm Here Mike. That's is Jeremy. Mike. This is Jason. Jason. We're going to talk about a 25-year-old movie that changed uh, filmmaking. We loved it growing up. Spoiler warning for anyone who has not seen this movie yet. Let's see what we talk about. All right. So, uh, actually, yeah, when when did The Matrix release? You got a release date on that? 1999. We are talking about, in 99, The Matrix. And we're not talking about the sequels, at least at this point, or anything that's been spawned from them yet. Talking about this original groundbreaking film. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I think we'll all kind of talk about this, um, you know, kind of our experiences with this. I just, I remember... If anything, this is kind of the first movie I remember where the marketing um, was probably just as big or as on point as, you know, or like it spawned kind of what we get now there. because it was, you know, no one knew what the hell this movie was about. And, it, and if you remember, it, you know, there was the what is the matrix dot com. Um, March, March 31st, 1999. Wow. Okay. So a little bit past, but yeah, we're at 25 years. Um, or, sorry, I'm trying to follow this. Yeah, it looks like March 31st, uh, a Wednesday. Uh, so that must have been like a, Those maybe are, like a nice showing. showing yeah. yeah. This is back when we had midnight showings and you couldn't reserve your seats in advance. If you wanted good wow. seats, you had to you go had wait, wait in line. line. Yeah. You had to wait in line. We went to midnight Hours. showings and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, all the Star Wars prequels and all that stuff. But yeah, like this one had, Jeez. you know, in it, you know, what is the matrix.com yep, was a that. big thing. And if you went to it, it initially, and it was weird. It had kind the of bunny. like, what, wasn't it like a bunny? Well, that, it might've started out with the white rabbit. Um, yeah, but it, I, if I do remember, it had like yeah. the, the green mm -hmm. scaling or whatever, whatever that's called. Um, yeah. You know, but no one knew what the hell it was. Cause they kept asking all the trailers. You saw the action. You saw Keanu Reeves and, and Lawrence Fishburne fighting. No one knew what the hell it was, and I remember when we went and saw it opening weekend. I don't remember. I don't remember if I saw it opening night. I know I saw it opening weekend. You know, you're sitting there watching this, and right around the t the scene when after Neo um, meets Agent Smith for the first time, and he has his mouth all sealed shut the or whatever. Room yeah, room the interrogation room. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then he ends up. Um, finally reaching out to Trinity and Trinity. And that's when they, they pull that, like the tracker out of his belly button. Yeah. You know, so this is the scene. All of a sudden the screen like went, like the sound got all stupid and the screen all melted oh. and, and everything oh, and up and, and, and it was all white and we're like, yeah. what the hell is this part of the movie? What's going on? <laughs> we're all sitting there and then like nothing's coming on. We're like, what? And all of a sudden this like, you know, theater guy comes walking in and has to apologize. And so that's maybe like wow. what, 30 minutes in maybe 40 minutes into the movie. Yeah, at least, so they had yeah. to like find another. So they gave us all gift cards or coupons for a free movie, but we had to like rewatch the entire first forty minutes again. Oh, <laughs> but, but still, which was fine. It's a great, first but 
30, 40 minutes. Yeah, that 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 was my ins- – you know, it's kind of like the the ending of The Sopranos. You just didn't know, did something break? You know, what, what happened here? But, no, that, that movie really uh, – Really got you thinking here. You start questioning what is going on, what is real, what is not. Great, great premise. Great movie. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I would say before that, I was never that, like, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. But I I, I, I loved it, right? Like I, like you said, you watched it, and then you watched it again. And oh, then you yeah, watched it again, going and you back. watched it again. Because there were so many... I felt like every time you watched it, you got a different, uh, a little bit more understanding oh, yeah. of what the movie was really about, or or some of the Easter eggs. And well, <coughs> it's like the movie Inception. Like you can't just watch that movie once; you will be lost. And then the more you watch it, you're like, "Oh wow, this is it!" It clicks. And Matrix for sure did that. Yeah. Well, even I, if I recall, I think even the first time I saw I watched the Matrix, I was still a little confused. Like, what the fuck? What the I fuck is watch? this? Yeah. yeah, you know, and, you know, in in it wasn't until. You know, because things were so visual there, and you know, you're just kind of getting bombarded with all these special effects that you've never seen before, bullet time and all that stuff. And amazing, just yeah, so I, cool. And, it, and you had yeah. to wait till the magazine came out to read about it, not the internet <laughs> at the time. What was the internet? No, they, you know, but just going back and just you know, being mind blown with all of this, you know, whoa, what is this? And then, but then, rewatching your pit, you're catching on things like when. Um, Morpheus is talking to Neo at when they first free Neo, and he's talking about the original one, and he's going, you know, he starts. Mm-hmm. They really, you know, there's things that I just didn't catch the first time. Yeah, you know, the lore of everything of how things started and everything that they, you know, they eventually built on in the sequels. Um, you know, it took a couple things to go back and and watch. It took it definitely it definitely needed multiple watchings, and it's a movie today that I just love. Oh, going yeah. back and watching every now and then, just because I mean. Some of it might seem a little dated special effects wise, but maybe it's because even though it wasn't, you know, bullet time was CGI, it wasn't quite like full CGI. You know what I mean? Like when they did that, the classic Neo bending backwards and stuff, that was him on pulleys and stuff and cameras swooping well, around him and had, stuff like that. And, you well, know, they tried it a few times, yeah. uh, just trying to film it on a, like a dolly thing. Going it didn't on. work. No, they ended up doing like hundreds of cameras and doing still pictures yeah, and putting them really, together. And yeah. then they added the special effects. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it was so more both. practical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, um, you know, there's, there's some of the awesome. scenes I think, you know, we, we'll probably overlay as we're talking here and stuff, but I mean, there's kind of one, it, kind of like multiple set pieces. Um, you know, the, the one thing you got to catch on to is you realize, obviously, when, you know, the the Wachowskis, um, I don't remember what their names were back then, but now they're Lara and Lana, I believe. Bill and Ted. <laughs> well, they, okay, no, well, that's funny that you mentioned that, is if you think about it, now I can't, I'm assuming, Speed came out before The Matrix, before, right? Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was like 94 or something, yeah. 95. Yeah. That mm-hmm. was the first movie where Keanu kind of was like... I'm not just this dumbass and Bill and Ted and I'm he, a dumbass. Well, he was doing a, he was doing a lot of indie films too, like My Private Idaho. I think was one was of another them. one. He did one so, where he was a hitman, like a yeah. dummy hitman. Um, oh, with um, I know what you're talking about. Yes, Kevin so, Klein was in it mm, and Tracy Ullman. Tracy Ullman. Yeah, no idea. I think it was called I Love You yeah. to Death. Actually, it's yeah. like where she it was, hires. It was a great movie. It's yeah. funny. It's really Tracy funny. Tracy Ullman. It's like a Kevin Italian Klein, family. Sure. They want to kill. She wants to kill her husband, and they bring Keanu Reeves and somebody else in as like the hitman, and yeah. he's literally like Bill and Ted. With the, a gun. Oh, stupider, time, really you know, just, like just like his mind yeah. is just baked. It's a and you know, but I think like yeah, when he <laughs> when people saw him in Speed, he was like, oh my god, this is an action star and stuff. And then, you know, then you know he comes and he starts doing the Matrix. And now you know, knowing that he kind of learned all this fighting stuff, and now eventually that or you know, then he progresses and he's doing all this John crap Wick. up into his end of, in his fifties, and now when he's he's well, like he sixty into years the old, major action star. Yeah, but he's like, doing all the stuff himself. Yeah, you well, know, you even s- with a bad back, you've seen him do. Uh, <laughs> Th- those like competitive shooting. Oh well, yeah, the videos online. Yeah, yeah. it's like, impressive. Dude's, yeah, yeah, dude's really really good. But you know. that's what he probably a lot of that was paid for by the studio to get him prepped. So a lot of that was. But he's good at it. That's yeah. what it, not a lot of people would be able to. I remember watching like some behind the it. behind the scenes footage um, with you know the actual instructors of 
whatever type of martial arts they're teaching him, right? And they, they, they talk about uh, Keanu and how much of a perfectionist he was and how he was just, like, really took it serious, right, and became oh, yeah. a student of, you know, whatever, again, I'm not sure if it was, I think it was Taekwondo it was or... possibly, like, I, I want to say it was, like, I Brahma, know, Ga- Brahma God and <laughs> yeah, I really have no idea, and stuff. Right? I don't know. I don't, I'm not entirely positive. But he positive, took it but... super mm-hmm. serious, right, and, and didn't mm-hmm. want to just act, but, you know make it look like he really knew what he was doing. So, well, and, that, that, and that could have been just yeah. something that he took to heart, though, in the film in The Matrix is, <clears throat> I'm going to learn all this stuff, you know. Yeah. And this was, you know, in the first Matrix is obviously when Morpheus and Lawrence Fishburne was thin, and that's maybe the one uh, plot holes we never got in the sequels is why he <laughs> he tended to <laughs> blow it up a little bit. I mean, I, you know, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> that's when you jack in, I guess that's what it's called. Maybe you do it too much, you just start... Uh, Retaining water. Well, I know the one thing uh, that I, around that time, myself and my roommates, we we were watching a lot of old um, Jet Li okay. kung fu movies or uh, the movies. And, um, there were so many good ones that we were watching. All of a sudden, this movie came out, and then they incorporated all that. I know kung fu, all the... In that fight just between Lawrence Fishburne and the first Kennedy. one, yeah, and the first, yeah, the fir- first sight, like what it was, you know, show me, yeah, it was amazing. Yep. It was like that's what drew me in too because I was into all that Such at the time. Such a great scene, yeah. Just you well, think that's air you're breathing? Well, even the hmm. last fight between him and Agent Smith, whenever the, he does that, hold his hand and he does, yeah, that <laughs> that was just like. Whoa! I, I swear, if everyone in the theater was just like, "Whoa!" Well, and that's the you know that's the yeah. thing. Like, so i you know another amazing. going back the first time watching it, that whole first fight scene, or like when Morpheus, or when they first you know go into there, and and after Keanu Reeves freaks out the first time, but he's trying to explain where they are, and they're trying. He's trying to explain that the Matrix is a computer program that the machines have put all the people that they are pretty much just harvesting for their power. Yeah, you're, a ba- you're a battery. You're a battery. And, you know, and you're sitting there going, and I just remember being confused, like, what the hell <laughs> is Morpheus talking about? And then when they went in, you know, and they're fighting, and he's trying to tell Keanu, like, yeah, do you think that's air you're breathing? Why, do you, why are you tired? Mm-hmm. Why, why? Oh, your brain is telling you you're tired. You're not tired. And, you, and it's funny, you see more, yeah, Keanu kind of go, Hmm, you're right. I yeah. don't need to be breathing heavy. And then it's kind of like him turning the page and then <clears throat> realizing and learning that you can bend the matrix as you see fit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what you is know? reality, right? Like yeah. What you, what you, you have know, known Jumping so the buildings is, and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And you can realize Which that Which I can, thought that was really cool how they incorporated where he didn't jump at first. Because like it makes you have to believe in... like He didn't make it. He fell all the way down well they did the funny kind of yeah, go into the ground and come back out but that's one thing that's cool like you have to fully believe well, and then the threats this. of the agents you know how that they can jump from because that how <laughs> everybody yeah everybody that you Everyone see there is, is uh, just host. is yeah. just they don't realize that they're it's in one of those basically. gross yeah. ky jelly pods Yep. You know, mm-hmm. just being, they don't realize this. They're just living their life. And that's why when Cypher, who is played by Joe Pantol- Pantoliano, <laughs> realizes that the matri- or the the real world sucks, he just wants to go back to just, you know, ignorance is bliss. We said that before. And he's eating the steak. He's eating the steak, steak and he's yeah. realizing he just wants to go back and be a battery. He doesn't yeah. care. He wants to get plugged back in oh, because yeah. he realizes that he's just kind of fed up with all the BS. Life and sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 And you're fighting against these things that, you know, want to kill you and wipe They're you out. That, uh, that sludge. Oh, what is it? It, it tastes like creamy or what creamy is it? Wheat. Creamy wheat. Was it creamy wheat oh, he calls it? Oh, yeah. And they're like, well, it tastes it, like cream chicken. Of, cream of wheat? When he calls it creamy wheat, creamy I think, wheat? or whatever. Okay. I think, what, and what was that kid's name? Um, Mouse. 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 I was say it was. Yeah. I was. I was like yeah. rodent, but yeah. it wasn't rodent. It was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, See, I thought you were talking about the liquid that the goo that they're laying in. Oh, that's. No. Oh, no, that's that the. Omni- that's the amniotic amniotic sack. The look of it reminds me of from Ghostbusters Two. The down, slime. Yeah, yeah, the slime the, river. The pink yeah. color mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yep. Well, and that's a freaky scene when he wakes up the first time when they kick him. I was yeah, say and the, the scene where he's pulling that out of his throat. Well, and then what you don't realize, you know, and eventually, you know, this is kind of a, you know, 
when they first pick him up and how they He's realize never walked before. his muscles, oh, yeah. they're atrophied. Yeah, you know, they're, they're doing the acupuncture. You know, and so, yeah, they're using acupuncture and stuff. They show mm-hmm. all this stuff, trying to act, you know, build his muscles up. And then, you know, they, Morpheus makes a comment about close your eyes or something, you know, or why do they hurt or something? He's like, well, because you've never used them before. And just all, you're like, what the hell is yeah. going on? Yeah, yeah it's trippy uh, when but you they, go back in you know, the second time. Yeah. say Those are things yeah. the first time through you're like, oh, yeah. yeah. What? Well, yeah. And, and they did a good job. The Wachowskis oh, did a yeah. good job of kind of like differentiating of what, what is the real world, what is the Matrix. And obviously mm-hmm. the, the, the simple thing is like the hair. And the plugs, you know, well, the things the, that you can see, the and color, then the, the green tint. And it's blue was, when you're outside, I think. It was just, or it was just more clear. Yeah, it was more they, they clearish. Did put a but, color for both. Yeah, yeah, there was definitely a filter. Um, you know, there's just there was just so many. They, they mm-hmm. did, you know, it's one of those things. It's kind of like when you watched the Sixth Sense for the first time, and then at the end they show you all the crap that you missed. You know, like the color yep. red and stuff like that in the Sixth Sense. You know, at the end, I never, I don't know. You never watched it? I watched it. Oh, I was about to, oh, say, I was gonna say, holy shit! Did Sorry, we just, no, are we going to ruin a movie that's been just <laughs> no, as I've old as the, the Matrix? I've Sorry, the movie. no, but at the end they kind of show you how the color red meant something oh, really? through the entire movie. Okay, or you know, there was things like that, and yeah. I'm like, and that's kind of what I felt like with this Matrix. It's kind of the same thing. Like they were leaving you, they were showing you oh, everything. Yeah, you know, they weren't they weren't pers- purposely trying to to pull one over on you like Shyamalan was in the Sixth Sense, but this one was no. You, you watch it again, you notice nobody's really talking to. Bruce Willis, even in the dinner scene with him and his wife. It's all those weird things they're yeah, trying to do things. When you go yeah, back, you realize even, it. And that's kind of what the Matrix did is you yeah, realize. He didn't say anything if I'm not All mistaken. these people are just, yeah, they're just. Yeah. You know, and you got this threat, the agents that can chase you. And, you know, the one thing I kind of kind of appreciated, one of the things in the sequels, how they, the, they kind of made it known that the agents had to improve, too. Like they're different models and shit like that, you know. Um, you know, the sequels they are what they are. I mean, I mm-hmm. the one thing you can never take away from Reloaded the sequel was how amazing some of the action sequences are, and then kind of falls off the rails when Colonel Sanders shows up at the end, and really you're like, <laughs> what is this fucking guy talking about at the end? The arch- architect, <laughs> <laughs> concordantly, <laughs> vis a vis, <laughs> whatever the hell he was saying the whole time, yeah. And then whatever yeah, whatever funny. Revolutions was, whatever. I don't know. I thought Reloaded, or no, or Re- Reloaded was amazing. And then, yeah, it was Revolutions. Oh. Was, was it Revolutions? One. Because the newest one was Res- Revelations. Revelations or no, Resurrections, Resurrection. right? Yeah. Or, yeah. What the hell was Matrix the Matrix Resurrection. Oh. What is it? Resurrection. I, is it? And what's funny about hey, that Google. one? I'm hey, looking. Hey, Google. I'm looking. <laughs> well, and what's funny about that well, most recent reloaded, one, have you watched it? Course. Did you watch the newest one? I did. It's not that good. No, I didn't. But I, what I thought I watched, was funny I is it for a second time, the story. Maybe I is, need to give the it a story better. is uh, well. I noticed everything they're throwing in, and it ties everything. I just in together. read that they're making a fifth one. It. They're making a fifth one, and I all I kept thinking was, in the fourth one, didn't they have a whole scene about how they were shitting on the movie and how it shouldn't be made and how Warner Brothers shouldn't make well, the movie? Yeah, at the beginning they had uh, <laughs> you know? Anna Reeves was uh, making a game. Yeah, and they're like Warner Brothers wants to make another a another sequel. one. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they're making fun Just of it. Just shitting whole- all over it. But, yeah, but it's cool on how it ties in him going back into the world after at the end of uh, the third one. I I, I, I do it's like it's a. Oh yeah, I, I do have to laugh though. Is how Keanu though, in pretty much every movie, I'm trying to think when it was, he just doesn't give a shit anymore. So he's reloaded never reloaded. Was the third revolution? Resurrections. Resurrections. Yeah. Okay. And, oh yeah, second in revolution. He's never yeah. gonna cut his hair or shave his beard anymore for a role. Is that what he said? Like, no, I'm just thinking because if you look at it, every movie now he's pretty much looked that's the same. Just his, his look. John Wick, the la- <laughs> Resurrections. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of he's kind of like you know what. Eh. Which I know this isn't a, a John Wick episode, but I love John Wick. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, it's just great. The first yeah. one, and the first one's amazing. I mean, they get a little bit wacky. And- I do enjoy the whole world of it. I think that's like I I love the second one, the beginning one, so much when he's doing the uh, when he's in Europe and he's is the Somalian and the guy's like. You know, talking like he's all about wine, but he's pulling out freaking the Benelium yeah, for, yeah, yeah. and he's like, "Oh, dessert, oh, yeah. dessert." <laughs> you know, I just think that's that whole scene with it, him shopping and going and getting. You know, I'm 
they had to bring in the bulletproof suit, which very cool. Well, you know, because you can't. You realize in the first one he did get shot, mm-hmm. you know, once or twice, and you realize oh, they're yeah. like, all right, if we're really gonna up this here, we got to make him bulletproof because m- mithril, mithril. <laughs> this world or the rings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's L- Elvis. You're Elvis. Not an L-O-T-R guy. Uh, I, he's, I, I, he's eating the I've bread. I've seen him once or twice. <laughs> once or twice. Lamas bread. Lamas uh, bread. <laughs> Potatoes. That's, funny. That's what I remember. Potatoes. Yeah. I think they realized he, John Wick's going to be shot about a thousand <laughs> times, so we got to make his suit bulletproof. Because <laughs> and don't worry, well, he can do headshots nonstop, but no one's going to get him in head. Don't worry, he'll pull his, his coat up. Well, yeah. if you think about it. <laughs> The newest Matrix movie, all the uh, all John Wick movies came out before that, so maybe that's all in the Matrix. Well, that he does look like it, and that's he looks why the he same. can get shot a million times <laughs> and beat up. And fall down like a hit million by a car. And stairs over and like. Yeah, didn't he get hit by a car a bunch of times oh, in the second? Oh, the he one? is. He I is mean, hit. I mean, the guy is a. The guy literally is a is a Terminator. I did like the parts in the movie. Well, how about at the, the end of the, the third dogs, one when he were... fell off the roof? Oh, with Holly Berry. Oh yeah. Oh the do- yeah. Holly the, Berry and the dogs. Yeah, the Belgian man. Well, Malinois. even in the club, the, the one scene in the, the club, big fat one of those, guy? he like fell off like a second floor like, or a third floor balcony down into the dance floor. Or that something. was the against the fat guy. Oh, and that was in the third yeah, one. Yep, yep. Which is actually it's, hilarious. It's a fat you know, suit. Yeah, it's a fat because yeah. that guy's like jacked in yeah. real life. He, it, yeah, yeah. I forgot what the actor's name is, but yeah, no, I. Anyway, really getting off topic of the Matrix here. We are. But it, I apologize. <laughs> that was my fault. Uh, stay tuned for the John Wick uh, yes. movie reviews. <laughs> uh, no, and actually, the, I love Keanu. I love well, Keanu. <laughs> the, the other scene that you know that I think that really needs that it, it's actually kind of like a two part. The one that I really loved was when they realized they get caught in the deja vu part of the Matrix. When the agents have them locked after they go see the Oracle and they get them trapped in that building. Yeah. And you see the cat? The cat. The cat, the the deja vu, Mm -hmm. the black cat. Um, The part that I love so much is that. Keanu's like, deja vu. Yeah, and they're like, like, no, no, oh, no. And then they realize, fuck this, we're fucked. And then they open up and there's brick walls everywhere. But there's that camera scene when they're shimmying down in the wall. Oh, yeah. I love that scene for yeah. some reason, you know, because it's, well, it's the way it's Trinity's filmed. Well, yeah, like, it goes, yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah. like they had a nice yeah. little narrow corridor that they had all them, all the actors kind of shimmying down. Yeah, that you know, was and then Morpheus, you know, view. saves yeah. himself or, you know, gives himself up to save Neo he because he realized. And, you know, and it was actually at that point when Neo thinks he's, he realizes I'm not the one because the, the, the Oracle just told you he wasn't. Well, what you, it's another mind fuck in this movie is how her telling him that he wasn't the one was the, all the motivation he needed to prove, well, fuck it, you're, I can do this, I don't care. And mm-hmm. the, the rescue scene of Morpheus is, is, is badass to me. The, 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 the lobby scene when they go through the metal detectors oh, and yeah. he goes, oh, can you open up your coat? And he opens up his coat and he's just armed to the teeth that he had whole, a few guns the two of them oh <laughs> yeah, that the scene, scene oh, yeah. amazing, is yeah. great and then you all know, the tiles just like tsh, 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 breaking just, all over the place just so cool and then when they finally get to the roof and then there's the scene with the, the helicopter. helicopter where trinity's like i need a pilot program for this and they upload it and you're like once again it's wait what okay and, you know they can yeah. you know do things as they see fit you know i need guns how lots of guns you know they can pull what they need but there's that scene when Neo's on the side of the gun with that minigun, and he's just unloading. That scene just is too, because everything's in slow motion. The helicopter rotor oh, is going yeah. slow. The bullets are dropping slow. Everything, and I just... Even when it goes to uh, Lawrence, uh, whenever he's running, and, and he, he gets, gets shot. He gets the, shot uh, whenever he's just And it does that jump. little bullet time thing. Yeah, it yeah. spins around. and That was, that was awesome. It's, but the water splashing, it, it, made, it was like the scene was beautiful. It was like. Everything about that. They, 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 you know, awesome. they did just a, such an amazing job of. Oh, yeah. Visually. Like the, the, t- the two, like, it was almost like this. This wasn't filmed in 3D, but when Trinity's on the helicopter, she flies in. You're like, what the hell? And she looks like she's going to crash into the screen oh, and she crashes into the, the window. window. Yeah. It's just kind of. The scene, too, where. It's Trinity, right? She's falling, and then there's an agent. That's in part two. That's part two? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, never same thing. Yeah. yeah they, when she dies have, in like, the beginning. Yeah, yeah they have dreams. two different Keanu's versions always of it. Trying, yeah. uh, in his dreams, he's trying to save her. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's still, it still is different. It's something that you, 
it, it was an opening scene, just like in part one, where it draws you in. Yeah. And you're, you're, it's like, well, it's this been, is going to be awesome. It's been over, I don't know, maybe two, three years since I've watched any of the Matrix movies. Oh, really? I've wow. seen the first one more than mm-hmm. I've... You know, I, I guess it, to watch them straight through, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Matrix, it's been one of those, like, if it's on TV, you're like, oh, I'll watch it for a little bit or this and that. Mm-hmm. I, It's been a while since I've put it on. I mean, I think I wouldn't mind, like, you know, I guess touching on the sequels when we talk about Reloaded. I think the highway scene gets a lot of the credit, but the one scene I think is up there is the fight scene in the in the chateau after he they meet the merovingian yes mm-hmm. and With they're the on stairs. the stairs and everything like the, that the and, twins and uh... the twins and where the twins go after morpheus and then mm-hmm. trinity goes after the key maker what the hell is the, the key maker right? yeah key maker? i think so i wanted to yeah. say key master but that's ghostbuster so it's <laughs> key maker you know so yeah i just everything kind of ties together and once again it's one of those you have to have a good understanding of what the hell is going on in the world that you're in and then they had to bring in these new characters like the Merovingian, who's kind of like a troublemaker. And then at the end... So one, one of the things I, I read on was that he... So you know how there's multiple Matrixes, right? Mm-hmm. And the one that Keanu's in is the sixth version. Yeah, there's the different versions of it with ones version. because they, they always... They crash. They always decided... The one always decided to reset. Mm-hmm. Rather than whereas Neo was the first one to say, fuck it, no, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm. A, you know, I. We need to have peace and just I'll go and, back in. And, and Colonel Sanders was like, "You've just destined your world for failure." <laughs> yeah. You know, you don't know what you're getting into. And then mm-hmm. Colonel Sanders shows up at the end talking to I don't even know what the yeah the architect that that fucking guy. I'm sorry. Then whatever. they came out with a chicken. If I'm the father, then she is chicken most is definitely the, the mother. Isn't that what some like when he's talking about <laughs> the. Uh, at the very uh, end, when he runs into the Oracle and that little girl at the end of the revolution. No, this is when when. Um, Keanu first meets him in the room, and he says, "If I'm the father of the Matrix, then she." Oh, he's she's most likely the, the mother. Oracle, yeah, we talk about the Oracle. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, she's he's the program like, that it's like AI that introduced choice into the Matrix. Well, that's yeah, what actually because everything's all balance. Yeah, there's always a yin and a yang, so that's why that's what they really went on was where Smith was the opposite of Neo. So as as Neo got more powerful, it was it meant Smith had to get more powerful, and so then. Mm-hmm. When he overtook, when Smith eventually overtook the Oracle, that's why they re- everything was unbalanced, and there and that's the fight scene between those two in the rain on, in the rain on the street. So I was a big uh, Dragon Ball Z guy, <laughs> Dragon Ball, Dragon okay. Ball Z, and I remember watching that and being like, "This is like what it would be like a, mm. a live action Dragon Ball okay. Z." Those two, because they were just like flying around in the air and just it's just yeah, it's kind of all over the place. Yeah, Yeah. like and you you, they they make it a point to show that they're they're equals. Because whenever they run into each other, or am I thinking Dragon Ball Z? What do you you say? Did one go into a well? They threw them into buildings and stuff. There was no mountains. All buildings, yeah. But they, when they would run into each other, <laughs> when they would fly into each other, they always bounced off because yeah. you could tell that they were equal, <laughs> equal, equal, equal all the whole, whole well, time. Well, didn't that all start in part one whenever he went into Agent Smith and that's what and blew him up? So that's him why up. he said it. You know, when he when he he released in the beginning right of, the, of part that, two, he calls. Yeah. He goes, "You set me free." Yeah, and he took out the. The earpiece. Ear he yeah. was he was unplugged, and so then you know he eventually started. He became, you know, he became like the virus. He was like a virus. How do you say it? Sentient being. Sentient. 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 Sentient being. Yeah. There's a lot of lore there. I actually bought a book in college because I was tempted to write a paper on it. it was uh, the book was like the. Uh, uh, philosophy behind the matrix and it was a little bit too smart for me but it was that was a class or it, it, it was shocker. something yeah it's not saying much <laughs> it's freaking awesome. not, it was not all <laughs> well pictures. there was i was disappointed like really like, there's the star there wars a, 101 is there a book on tape <laughs> I mean, well I, yeah it, 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 you know needless to say i barely got through college just put just put <laughs> But yeah, like that that book really went into detail of it's how just there's so many different things where Neo was almost kind of like a Christ like figure. Oh, and just absolutely yeah. like the way they did it too in the third one. Um, oh, they even had him. Like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. When he got it was all plugged in and then lit up too, and he was like in the shape of the uh-huh. cross, and the cross and all that. Yeah, just sacrificing yeah. himself. Yeah, yep. for everybody. Yeah, it's of, just uh, all over relatable. the place. Yeah, yeah. I you know. <laughs> I, you know, it, it, totally funny story. When I was working at Loss Prevention in Home Depot, I had to train a guy 
um, who was eventually going to do loss prevention in the Madison area. And his name was Bill. And I, I, if I'd remember his last name, I wouldn't call him out. But I mean, I was like, I loved the matrix. You know, I thought it was a great series. This guy, I swear to God, he had like a, like a raging heart on for the matrix. And his whole thing was like, man, we should get like a Terminator Matrix crossover. Can you imagine all the time travel? And he was always just coming up with the most crazy (laughs) crossovers. And I'm just like, yeah, okay, dude. Like we'd be watching him trying to train in the job. and and he's patrol. Yeah, he's like just (laughs) pulling out all this crap about Matrix. And I'm like, dude, take a breath. You know, yeah, good old, good old. Uh, After seeing crossovers, not even, not getting away from the Matrix, but. After we see Aliens versus Predator, it's good in the comic books, but not in the movies to a certain degree. I just watched the don't want to go sequel, The Requiem. That, okay, that movie sucks so bad. You know, and I don't say movies suck. No, you, every, you love every movie. movie. I'm not going to say it's the worst movie I ever saw. No, you can say no, this one sucks. That movie just really disappointed me. I'm a really big Aliens fan. And you know what's I hilarious about aliens. that movie? Is some jackhole editor or whatever it was thought it was a good idea to turn the black way down on it so it's fucking dark the whole movie you're literally watching silhouettes pretty much the whole freaking movie someone thought it was a good idea to go yeah let's make this really dark <laughs> no people want to see the freaking monsters you moron yeah and that that was unfortunately that was one of the movies where because everyone that, out? <sighs> that had to have been early 2000 or maybe 210 20 20, 2005 maybe that one that one yeah it was probably a little but later, the thing but was if is I because had the internet here I could the first look it aliens up. versus predator was pg-13 and people gave it shit because like how can you have an alien into a predator movie that's pg-13 yeah, there's like no, no gore, gore no, no right? it, yeah and so they went with okay oh, seven yeah. they with this one they they went okay fine and you Olivia want r-rated we're gonna make it r-rated mistaken. we're gonna make it gory we're gonna make it violent well that doesn't make a good movie no you know and oh that was and what's the name of the new one? There's a new alien. Oh, movie. We Romulus. Went, we've seen it. Romulus. I liked it. Yes, I liked it a lot. They. It, we should get an aliens, <laughs> Romulus, and Matrix, Matrix crossover. crossover. Can you imagine <laughs> Neo versus the aliens? <laughs> and for the heck of it, throw John Wick in there. <laughs> I don't know what side he's in gonna space. Pick. I don't know what he's gonna in pick. space. He's do you know, He's frozen. Do you know Neo's first name, like Mister Anderson? Ah, uh, it was. Um, oh, they say it. They do. They say it one time. Yeah. Ah, uh, hold on. It's in the office scene. It's when he's getting fired or something, isn't it? Or is it just? Well, in that? no. It's when he's he's. Um, well, I don't know if it's when he's. Getting well, because they call him Mister Anderson all the yeah. time, but it's. No, I somebody. I I know I've heard it, and it. Thomas. Just, yep, and God damn it! As soon as you said mm. it, I was like, I, I'm like, as soon as you say it, I'm gonna be like, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they call him Thomas Anderson. And I, I've only, I only saw it one time in the whole movie, and and that was in that uh, in the office scene. Is that when he's talking to his it's boss? To that before? boss guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bef- yeah, and yeah. Because I don't know if they say it or if it just says it on his. Uh, oh, like on a like file cubicle, or something or something cube, like that. Okay, his name is on the cubicle um, thing. Yeah, as soon as he's well, oh, yeah. talking about that, the office, the whole office scenes. So great. Is it too. just me, or did you want that freaking phone that he got? There was like, dude, and then it popped cool. out. Oh, Super I was cool. just at that time. It was like, oh, I and now you look that. at it and you're like, that thing's fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. There's no screen, basically. Well, that was the other thing that was trippy about that whole scene too. Is Morpheus is guiding him. Mm-hmm. Well, then you go out and you realize that Morpheus isn't technically. In the, he doesn't necessarily even he need to be in the Matrix. He's in the real world watching just the screen with yeah. the, gri- the, the the bullshit, and he's guiding him. And you're like, how the hell does he know all this? How, I want to know? know how to read that and Code. see the scene. Yeah, I wanted to see what Cypher was looking at yeah. with the blonde, the it's brunette, all, and the redhead or whatever it was. It's all code. It's mm-hmm. all code. Yeah. He's like, you just I don't even see the code anymore. I just see, I see yeah. this, I see this, I see this. Yeah. Yeah, everything about that movie was just totally different from anything you've ever seen. And it was just, go, go, for me, it was mind-blowing. Is the, is the website a, still up? Goes, what is thematrix.com? Let's see if that website is actually still. Uh, cool. I hope so. Dot com. Well, you got to get rid of the space oh, there. Whoops. Oh, there's no space. <laughs> 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 I wanna, I'm very curious if it's still. Oh, Maybe so it just is. kicks you to Resurrections. Okay. Yeah, so they. We can't see it. They just kicked you back to the the trailer of the new one, but so yeah, I had heard kept the same one. 
Mm-hmm. I had heard that they're doing a Matrix 5 where it's the first one, though, that won't be directed by any of the Wachowskis. Mm-hmm. They'll, one of them, Lara or Lana, is going to stand as a producer, but it's a new director. Hmm. Um, I, don't, I don't know where they go from it. I actually, the one thing I will say about Resurrections is the guy that played Morpheus, I thought was actually pretty good. Yeah. Did a pretty good job. Um, and actually, the the, the, the that blue hair chick I thought was pretty pretty cool in there too. But I just she was awesome in the Daredevil series. I don't know if you ever watched the Netflix. I did. She, yeah. she was really. Uh, or no, sorry, sorry, sorry. It was. Um, it's um, who's the other guy that um, Luke Cage uh, that comes in? He he was basically the white guy that came through and he knows kung fu all of a sudden. Oh, um, Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Uh, yeah. She's in that. She's I'm in sorry. Iron Fist. She's yeah. in Iron Fist. Sorry. Okay. She's but, the one that owns the dojo in the beginning. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then yeah. become they become she becomes well she's pretty badass um, with uh, martial arts whatever um, form she knows but she's I was surprised because she was I found out she's English or whatever or, or English accent accent from this movie too is uh, original is kind of. It was kind of cool because I'm gonna have to watch this again. I, I watched it ex- like two days ago. Yeah, and are you serious? Yeah, and I just for the heck of it, I'm like I'm gonna give it another shot. And I uh, I watched it when uh, like two different nights I was kind of going to bed or whatever, laying in bed and watching it, and it was really cool how they tied everything in together, and they, they especially tying in um, Neo and Trinity, and just showing how it's them together it's not just him it's both of them together um and then it, well they had to do that because yeah. now you need a strong female lead and everything now so i'm just you know. she can be my strong oh I, i'm not tough. doubting that no, I, I, yeah I, 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 she i mean come on keanu awesome. didn't use any weapons at all in this mm-hmm. he just went well yeah he had like his force kind of shield <laughs> kind of thing that he has but but i i, I have to say it was really kind of cool uh how the uh tied it in and just all the how they kind of tied in all the different characters where it wasn't the original people too so especially uh morpheus Morpheus. it was kind of neat and kind of like the digitized kind of he was like little pieces i don't remember i I, i've only i think i only watched i've only watched it once yeah. And like I don't remember anything you're talking about. I'm like I. Yeah, when you watch it, um, <laughs> I would the, just the small things. If you end up noticing it, because I didn't notice the first the first time I had that kind of that feeling like crap. They're doing another one. How are they going to do this? And I, I think I watched it with just kind of like just more hate because I was just like I don't want to watch. Don't they're screw ruining, this up they're, for me. Yeah. yeah, they're ruining my whole. Don't well, the way up. I looked at yeah. it is, they couldn't get much worse than Revolution, so I was like, "All right, well, we can't go much." Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> it, it was a good finish, but it, it, what, it definitely out of the three was the first one is always going to be my favorite because it was that mind blowing. Never seen the special effects. Never seeing anything remotely close what to a, that. you know and that's well, the thing and they it's... copied that in so many different yeah. movies afterwards yeah. it was awesome the second one was the one i watched the most yeah yeah i watched I, that one a lot too yeah i think i watched that one more than yeah. definitely the one that the i thought one. the I second wanted... one was mm-hmm. really great too is the soundtrack and that the second one mm-hmm. was just the, the the music in that whether it's the score or even just some of the other just the music they pulled in that man that was some good what stuff. we Did haven't we talked about show? yet mm-hmm. is the rave scene Oh, yeah, in the part one? Yeah. Yep. Oh, the music there in was the cave? just awesome. Like, oh, no, you're talking about oh, the third the second, one. Uh, you're was, talking about the second one where, the when second Morpheus one? Oh, is yeah. talking. Yeah, and, and they're like playing. Zion! Like, they're all yeah. like making out. Like, Hear orgy. me! Yeah, what a weird yeah. just like. Let, let's have an orgy in the middle just, of the cave. We're all going to die, so let's <laughs> just get it on. It's just such a weird mm-hmm. scene that I'm that always felt out of a little bit out of place. Well, so did Fat Morpheus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep going back to that because it is so... I mean, even his head got bigger. <laughs> well, I don't care. He's one of my favorite actors of all time. He's, he's, he's in John Wick. He's awesome. He is in John Wick. He is the Bowery. Yeah. 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 Covered in bird shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the, yeah, that scene was again. Yeah, that was kind of a... Uh, just weird. It, it, I know why they put it, it in there. They wanted it to show like, okay, this is their yeah. last chance. Just in case they're all going to die, they're going to live their life one more. But it was... Very just, yeah, it is weird. Like just seems like out of place, right? Yeah. The Where's all the music movie? coming from? I don't remember. Did they have a band like synthesizer? And yeah, yeah, there they, was there was, was there guys on drums and yeah. stuff, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. yeah. 
But come on, it didn't sound that good. I heard like freaking, you know, well, they're dubstep in cave, going on in there. The echoing and everything is probably amazing in those uh, the with the stalactites and stalagmites. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh... Yeah, and how did how did Trinity and and Neo have a nice little room all to themselves in that cave? Where the hell was that thing set aside? <laughs> He's the one. <laughs> oh, yeah, he can have whatever. He wants. Everyone's going to cater to him. That's true. That's true. Uh, just amazing to meet the guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it, I, I I did like how in the second one they did incorporate Zion. If I'm getting, uh, yeah, uh, yeah it's so uh, their great. Little, of, their little society anyway. or city that um, they, all the freed minds go it, to. Yeah. It was cool just seeing that and just well because they like, talked about it in the first yeah. one. You just never saw and, it, and then boom, they showed it, and then of or, course all the 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 mech kind of thing, the suits and well, everything. That was the cool. Was, that yeah, was the awesome. third one, or was that the second one? Second. second, that was the second well, they one? did okay. show that, and then the, the third the one The one thing that we're not talking about, stuff like that. the one character, it's the guy that always says, God damn it, that big guy, that the, the captain of the of the hammer, that big guy. You know what I'm talking about? Um, go, go to IMDb. He's the captain of the, of the ship that Jada Pinkett Smith's character ends up taking oh. to go back in the third one. But you know, after like Agent Smith takes over part the two. one guy, or I don't remember. But he's every time he's he was her love interest. Before. No, 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 no. This guy was just oh, the no. Oh, oh yeah. He's the big guy. The general, he would, not the general guy, but the big guy. No, right? he's he's a big white guy. He's on the hammer, the ship called the Hammer, and he always is just like, God damn it! No, oh, we got to do this. God damn it! I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, uh, yeah, it's so freaking. Uh, Go up, a, go up a little bit on this screen here. Can I actually z- zoom in a little bit for you? Appreciate it. Cause Ooh. Yeah, I forgot she was in that. Who? Yeah. Monica <laughs> Bellucci. Oh, oh, yeah. Persephone. Yeah. Sh- Scroll up. Because uh, he was like. It might be hard to see kind of from here, but I, I know what you're talking about. He was. Um, he was yeah one of the pilots uh, or captains of yeah, one of the ships. Yeah, he ended up yeah. like because she took over the ship and at and when they're fighting to get back to Zion, he's like, man, she can fly or whatever. Yeah, oh, for, yeah. yeah I forgot Marvin Gaye's uh, daughter. I think that's his daughter, their, their daughter or granddaughter or whatever was in this. Roy Jones Jr. Uh, yeah, for some reason. Stupid oh yeah, he, oh, yeah, he was he, in he was in there. He was played one of the guys. That, yeah. yeah. You saw him in the beginning of part two in that meeting yeah. um, when Morph or Neo and everybody, they're talking about, you know, having to like kind of make sure they're being aware of the agents and everything. And yep. He was one of the captains, wasn't he? Yeah. He might have been on one of the yeah, ships. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. One of the ship captains. Yeah. I'm trying to th- see if I see. Oh, this yeah. Guy. There's the key maker. Randall Duckim. All right. Here, he, I down. think he passed away like right after. No, go the other way. Go the other way. Go down. I want to find this Why guy. don't you control it with your screen? I'd like to, but <laughs> I can't. Uh, I'm surprised they have Trinity so far down in this list. Well, if it's alphabetical by last name. See, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's alphabetical by <laughs> it mother's by, maiden name. Uh, it should be by star, okay? In, alphabetical like, by where they are in the IMDb. <laughs> like, Look, why is Keanu Reeves oh, way so down there? Whoa. Oh, here it is. I think that's him right there. David Roberts, right below Keanu. Click on him. Oh, yeah. I know who you're talking about then. Yeah, yeah. he was always like, yeah, that's my yeah. ship. God oh, damn it. Yeah. And he just kept, sk- God damn it. It's, it's like. Who did? The dude's from Australia. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, crikey. Oi. Why didn't he drive a crikey? <laughs> <laughs> Roland. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was a good, good flick. Um. Yeah, I, I suggest watching it. I do. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Five stars. Three. I almost, <laughs> yes. almost. You know, it, it, with the the way the world's going, I'd say, you know what? Can I just get plugged into the Matrix and just ignorance is bliss? I'd love oh, to just oh, go eat a delicious steak and live the perfect life, however I want it. Yeah. I want to be rich. I yeah, had, I'm going to be rich. Just I had to, the delicious just, steak uh, today for dinner. <laughs> no. Ah, is that why you were late? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I actually have some in my uh, that, fridge. That would have been a good Sam's excuse. Club I'm going to cook up tomorrow. I'm smoking a couple briskets on Sunday. Yeah. That that's sounds, right. Sounds kind of dirty. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, uh, 
I mean, hopefully uh, everyone enjoyed our riveting ramblings on The Matrix, John Wick, whatever else we talked about. Terminator, uh, Alien, John Wick, <laughs> Matrix, uh, mashup. <laughs> I yeah. think we had a few. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A few other it was a little all over the place, yeah. but uh, if somehow you haven't seen it yet, go see it. Do yourself a favor. And actually, at, as of right now, I think you know today is September twentieth. It's playing once more tomorrow oh. at theaters. Yeah. So by the time yeah. this posted, wow. it's going to be too late. A little bit too late. So <laughs> you're going to have to probably go to your nearest red box. Mm. And rent that DVD. <laughs> are, those still <laughs> are they even around? I don't even know. Hit your local family video. I, actually, I think there still is a red box in the pick and save by my oh, house. There's, there's red boxes. Are there still? Okay. The red boxes I've been seeing is the dumpsters that they've had for houses. Have you seen those? They're all red boxes. Hmm. I think they went into uh, kind of house no, trash still, retrieval. <laughs> you go into a pick and save at the Walmart on High 100 Lake. They still, yeah, all right. Uh, they, okay, so a, I have seen them. Okay, there's a red box still. Well, you know, I, I highly doubt the Matrix is in there, so you probably have to either <laughs> go to Mega Media Exchange or eBay or something and buy the DVD, Blu-ray. Do it. 4K, probably 4K at this point. Do it. Yeah. You know what? It. Go see it. Yeah, um, it's worth it. Or as one of our friends would say, on the line. That is true. The interwebs. Yep. Could be on the line somewhere, the line. but uh, yeah, give, give it a go. It'll blow your mind if you haven't seen yet. Uh, so for all of us here at Necessary Censorship, thank you for watching and joining us and hopefully you enjoyed it and we will all talk to you soon. Cheers. We love you.